In a land of clunky cell phone interfaces, the elegant iPhone opens with a high-resolution image provided by the viewer. Thence to a home page, a front page which shows off 20 icons, 24 words, 8 quantitative indicators. We now slide across to many more apps. What we're seeing here, uh, by the way, is an iPhone jailbreak. Don't try this at home. We have quick access on the same surface to nearly a hundred different options. Again, in this collection of photographs, many information elements are arranged on the same surface as the user scans 150 images arranged in a two-dimensional small multiple format. The white frames are too thick and should be in gray and only a single pixel thick. After an image is selected, the entire screen then becomes content. No computer administrative debris at all. The scrolling and enlarging operations reside in the hands of the user. Nothing like a high resolution screen operating at 163 dpi. And so, even though it's small, we can see a lot of detail in sorting through the images. This is not one damn thing after another, as in a stack of images, but rather you're sliding across the same surface, moving back and forth on that surface. Now, on the market page, interface and the information become somewhat cartoony. Instead, why not have our data and our information operate at image resolution rather than cartoon or Excel or PowerPoint resolution? Now on the same screen, the iPhone screen, we see an image that is operating, in fact, at image resolution. Here are foreign exchange rates shown for every day for 65 months for three currencies dollars, yen, pounds, against the euro. Then, foreign exchange rates for every day for a year, again against the euro. All told, in this one display, we have six graphics that show 14,000 numbers worth of data accurate to two significant digits, and in the traditional table, 24 numbers accurate to five significant digits. But still, the iPhone stock market page looks like a couple of PowerPoint slides. Strong colors and zebra stripes, but not much information. Down below, a modest data graphic chartoon. Computer administrative debris reduces information resolution and steals content space away from the user. The iPhone brilliantly suppresses much admin debris. Here, Visiting the New York Times on the Internet, notice how the URL and the title bar go away as the user moves into the newspaper. The idea is that the content is the interface, the information is the interface, not computer administrative debris. However, the broad button bar down at the bottom steals away fully 10% of the screen. The button bar should be transparent. In iPhone text messaging, the good idea is the same. The impediments between messages are removed. The information is on the same surface. No computer administrative debris barricades. And the history of message then carries on through just like a real conversation. The elegant weather app shows forecasts for user-selected cities with beautiful graphics for rain, snow, wintery mix. Again, sliding across cities on the same surface. This display, by the way, is ideal for showing off your iPhone to your colleagues. But like the stock market page, the weather pages are a bit thin. Why not, for example? show a dynamic weather map, more detailed forecasts, and use the magnificent and intense resolution available. 
And here's the general theory. To clarify, add detail. Imagine that. To clarify, add detail. And clutter and overload are not an attribute of information. They are failures of design. If the information is in chaos, don't start throwing out information. Instead, fix the design. And that is exactly what the iPhone platform has done.